Hey, it's Metacosis Perfect Snails, where medicine makes perfect sense. Let's continue our rheumatology playlist. In the previous video, we have discussed pseudo gout. Today, we'll compare between osteoarthritis and pseudo gout. With that being said, now let's get started. But before we get started, please remember that gout affected the big toe, but now it's pseudo gout. So it's not the big toe, it's the knee, the wrist, the shoulder, the ankle, the elbow and second and third MCP, metacarpophalangeal joints. There are over 60 videos in my rheumatology playlist. Please watch them in order. So here's the deal. Osteo versus pseudogout. What's the type? This is non-inflammatory, but pseudogout is inflammatory. Does that mean that there is zero inflammation? No, I did not say that. There's some inflammation in osteo, but it's not systemic. It's not the trigger. It's not what's causing the thing. But here is inflammation, baby, that's severe. And that's why, as you will see later, ESR and CRP are going to be normal in osteo, but high in pseudo gout. Why? Because osteo is non inflammatory, but pseudo is inflammatory. Epidemiology. This is a disease of the elderly, most of the time, at least primary osteo. Secondary osteo could happen in the young after a congenital anomaly, trauma, surgery, etc. Pseudo gout is the elderly most of the time. However, Sometimes it happens in young people and it's associated with hemochromatosis and primary hyperparathyroidism when you have lots of PTH around, raising your calcium and precipitating the calcium pyrophosphate dihydrate crystals. So if the patient is young in osteo, it's trauma, congenital or metabolic, etc. Pseudogout is hyperpara, hemochromatosis or post meniscectomy, which is after removal of the meniscus. Joints. Which joints here involve the weight-bearing joint? This is mechanical wear and tear or biomechanical, not just mechanical. The knee is common. Here the knee is the number one. And then you have the wrist, shoulder, as well as MCP. When it comes to your hand, what are the phalanges involved here? PIPs and DIPs. In pseudogout, MCPs and the wrist, as you know. And that's why pseudogout is very similar to rheumatoid. Oh yeah, because both of them are inflammatory arthritis. Synovitis, not in osteo. Yes, it can happen in pseudogout and it can happen in rheumatoid. Crystals, nope, there are no crystals here. But in pseudogout, of course, there are crystals. What's the name of the crystal? CPPD, calcium pyrophosphate dihydrate crystal. X-ray, cartilage damage and bone growth. Loss of cartilage, gain of bone. We call this abnormal bone osteophyte. But in pseudogout, chondrocalcinosis, calcium in the cartilage. ESR and CRP, normal in osteo, high in pseudogout. Arthrocentesis, the white blood cell count here is less than 2,000. White blood cell here is more, I'm sorry, more than 2,000 but less than 75,000. 75,000 or more is septic arthritis, not inflammatory arthritis. Cool. What else? Those crystals are weakly positive birefringent. When they are parallel to the plane polarized light, they are blue. Treatment. How do you treat osteoarthritis? Physical therapy, pain medications, and intraarticular steroids. Systemic steroids are rarely used. Pseudogout, non-steroidals, steroids, intraarticular or systemic, colchicine can help, anakinra can help. What's anakinra? It's an interleukin-1 inhibitor. Why would you like to inhibit interleukin-1? Because interleukin-1 is responsible for inflammation, baby. If you are a visual learner like me, you would love Picmonic. They have animated medical mnemonics. I cannot describe them in words. You have to go and see it yourself. These are characters and then it's animated and they have hundreds if not thousands of different slides that you can learn from and then they will test you. They have multiple choice questions and you can create your own Picmonic. Imagine that and you can take notes in the app. It's amazing. You can do it on your tablet on your computer and even in your phone, you can download the app. Also go to picmonic.com slash VIP hookup slash medicosis to get a special deal. Also, you can try it for free. This is just one picture, but you can play a video when you go to their website. And then you can train your visual memory by recalling which character was where. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit the bell and click on the join button. You can support me here or here. Go to picmonic.com forward slash VIP hookup forward slash medicosis. Thank you for watching. As always, be safe, stay happy and study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionist where medicine makes perfect sense. And with Picmonic, it is fun.